Hi guys, Andy here. Um, it's been about eight months since I last looked at a Windows device. Now I know it seems a bit odd, Android Andy, obviously mainly I use Android devices, but I like to stay in touch with, uh, with what Windows are doing. Um, and thankfully Microsoft Connect, their, I think it's their social team, every now and then offer me a device and they offered me the Lumia 640 XL. So I've had to look it up what it is to be honest because I don't follow it that closely. Um, and it's a, it runs on a Snapdragon 400, it's a quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor, Adreno 305, um, so it's all a bit, it's only a 720p screen, so it's all a bit last year or even two years ago maybe. Um, but at the same time, the Windows operating system generally works quite well on, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be as high power as perhaps some Android devices. Uh, and at the same time as well, it's less than 200 pounds. You know, you can pick, I've, I've already checked, you can pick one up on Clove for 185. So it's kind of in that sort of area of, just above the Moto G, um, just below perhaps the Nexus 5 from a year and a half ago. Bit of a similar sort of uh, price range. So, you know, when they offered it, yeah, what the hell, I'll give it another go. I don't know that Windows would have changed all that much in this time. Obviously, we're waiting at the moment for Windows 10. That's where we'll see the big differences. Um, I did look back in October at Windows 8.1, which brought some good changes. Um, and these videos often, you know, I don't think Windows fans like an Android fan reviewing their devices, but I try and be as unbiased as I can, believe it or not. You know, you may not, but, you know, if I see things that I like, I say. If I see things I don't like, I'm going to say that as well. Anyway, so, this bit's obviously just the unboxing, not the review. I'll get started. So, fairly normal looking box. Um, not really much to comment on about the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. There we see the device. Now obviously it's called the XL, 640 XL, so you would imagine it to be quite a big device. It's a, uh, a 5.7 inch screen. Uh, only 720p, but uh, big old screen. Uh, it feels, feels does feel quite big, does feel a little bulky. It's nine millimeters thick, which isn't a great deal. Um, 171 grams, which is quite heavy. Let's just pop it aside for a second though and Check what else, the uh, quick guide in the bottom there. And then the charge, I do like these charges with the slide out at the top. And it is micro USB, so any Android user it will charge on the same charger as an Android phone. And that's it, there's nothing in, those are empty hollow bits at the end there. Let's just pop that to one side. So very quickly, I'm gonna bring in my Nexus 6 for a bit of a size comparison. They're very similar, I think, actually. Trying to see around my camera, but, uh, but it does feel a bit bulkier. And maybe it's the more squared off edges that do that. So, as I mentioned, 5.7 inch, 720p, Corn and Gorilla Glass 3, and I've already mentioned, um, obviously, the Snapdragon 400, the quad core 1.2 gigahertz Cortex A7 and the Geno 305. It is a bit behind, I would suggest. Um, it's got eight gig of internal memory, can take a, a micro SD card. Uh, have I said that? I don't know at this point how we, I'll have to, uh, I think it can take a micro SD, maybe. No, I'm sure it does. Specs say it does anyway. So there we go, look. That's probably a better way of doing it. Um, the battery there. I assume, there we go, pops out. Uh, micro SD goes in here, the SIM goes in here. That looks quite big, so it's not a nano. It looks like it's going to be a micro SIM, which is fine. Pop the back back on. We've got the power button on the right hand side with the volume rocker. The uh, headphone jack at the top, nothing down the left hand side and the micro USB charging point at the base. 
Microsoft on the back and Zeiss. They do come with car Zeiss lenses. All uh, Lumias or Nokias tend to be very strong in the camera department, mainly because of these Carl Zeiss lenses. This is a 13 megapixel on the back and it has a 5 megapixel on the front. SIM card error, oh yeah, I haven't got a SIM card in at the moment. Um, I thought there was a dog wearing a bra for a second, did anyone see that? Is that just me being crazy? So, I've got to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what the best things for me to look at on, uh, on a first glance on Windows phones. Because um, we don't have YouTube I can go straight to. What do we have? Let's have a look at news, look. Now, generally, I do. I quite like how sort of slick and smooth... Ah, I need to connect to Wi-Fi, of course. Yeah, I haven't even had to log in or anything just yet. How do I... Uh, so... Right, let me log. So there we go. I think we're, I think we're now connected. So let's just try again. News. See what news has to tell me. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Okay. And it does. I mean, it feels very slick. So we've, I've talked about. I've mentioned a couple of times the. Uh, Mermaids, aquatic creatures, what? Um, the specs are not the best by any means, but actually, that is, uh, that's very slick and very smooth. So let's come all the way back out. Let's see what else can I, what else can I show? Actually, the camera would be good just to get a bit of a glimpse. Where's Lumia camera look? Now, I'm going to draft in, draft in one of my Android buddies for the, oh, hang on, what's going on here? Living images. Uh, let's, let's say maybe later for now. Location. Uh, yep. So. That's a, that's a fast, uh, Fast picture, how do I, do I review? The navibar is always available, just flick up from the bottom of the screen to show it. Now, it says bottom, does it mean... Oh, that, that's that navibar, sorry. Sorry, I keep going a bit off camera. Um, so, that was a quick test of the, uh, the lens, it looks pretty good. Kind of fell to the bottom there. Looked pretty good, it was pretty quick. Um, obviously that's the only it's the only picture on there at the moment. I'll do obviously some better testing of that in time. Let's try and mix radio. Interesting to hear the speaker. I assume we can. Looking for a music I've not logged into anything. Why would I have a music profile? Just I'm not entirely sure. Search for um oopsie daisy. Jay Z, let's just. I don't quite know. Uh, but I don't know. Justin. No, I wasn't going Bebop. Um, oh, we can go, oh, my goodness, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, I don't know if we can get. No. No, let's just and I'll come back. Just see if it will six skips an hour. So initially, I would say that, that sounds okay. There's no bass that I could tell, but I'm trying to see if I could skip. See Daisy, see if I could skip in a little bit to uh, to where the actual bass appears. I quite like that as well. It drops in because I think that happens pretty much any app you do. That bit drops in from the top when uh, you start adjusting volumes. And that's something that, uh, to be fair, Android's only just got itself. Let's get to the different uh, volumes in the same time. Uh, so I can adjust Ringo. I thought I could. 
yeah, I can just ring her on media independently and from, you know, I don't have to wait till I'm playing my whatever musical video or whatever. Um, so reasonable speaker, no volume. Um, what else? What else? Cortana. Do what now? It's saying it can't speak English. Um, hello. That that would worry me a little bit. Why? Okay, never mind. Um, what else would we want to have a quick look at before we? So here, drive is the uh, the sat nav by Nokia, which uh, generally is very well thought of. I haven't really used it myself. If I'm honest. Actually, no, I did use it a little bit when I had one of the uh, Windows phones. About a year ago, it would have been the 1520. Um, I actually used it uh, when I was house hunting, I remember. Pretty good, pretty good. I had no issues. So here we are, the weather. Oh, uh, come on then. The weather in Barnet. It's quite nice today. Looks reasonable until the weekend. A bit rubbish at the weekend. Today certainly looks good. I'll be out there testing the camera a little bit. Um, okay, so reasonable money trans transfer my data. What bring it in or export? Oh, where are we going? Um, okay, yeah, I don't particularly want to. So I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't. Is that fitness or is yeah? It's not a heart rate app. I haven't logged into anything. Yet. I feel I should have logged in. I don't know if maybe I should factory reset to then. How do I? How do I? Yeah, so I'm aware of the navigator at the bottom. Thank you. All settings. So we just go slowly through. So start and theme. Background is dark. Accent. I'm going to go. Let's go with the Android green look. You can have a photo as a background if I'm really. I mean, I took that one of my little Android. I suppose. Oh, let's do that. Let's. Does it let me take one? Choose a photo. Can I take a photo? No. Can I just pick him then? Yeah, why not look? That might upset some Android, uh, sorry, some Windows fans. Um, accounts, you see, ooh. Accounts, maybe. So that's where I guess I'll put in, whoopsie daisy. My, can I put in a Gmail, Google look so I can, I won't do it now, but that's where it is. Uh, anything else to look at? 37, but yeah, there wasn't much battery in this. Look, 37, and they might get it charged up. So, Cortana, I'm kind of confused that. Hello? Changes. So, what are we. So, really, what can I only do? Can I only do. You know, that's surely that's. Yes. Okay. Um, can I come? No, this is something I've never quite understood with Windows. Can I come out of that and leave it to do it in the background? I'm going to. Uh, yeah. So we'll come back to that later. Um, keyboard. I don't think we can change. Oh, oh that'll just be. So yeah, I'm, I'm using the uh, English, obviously. Advanced. What options do we get? Sure. Come uh, when available. Uh, okay. Yeah, I find it quite annoying. You can't change to change the keyboard. Um, probably at this point, it's a first look. I think have we done? I mean, I'd quite like to. I wonder if we browse to YouTube, how we get on. Uh, Yo, tube. Oh, there's a dot com there. Look. Go. Go on, let's watch. Uh, uh, can I get rid of the adverts? Anybody? Shush. Um, 
There's full screen look. Oh, I was going to say, apart from my connection, perhaps letting it down. I've been having some problems with my connection. Damn BT, what's it doing? Hello? Hello? Well, I was going to say, the picture looked okay until it stopped. Um, I'll have to find a decent, I don't think I found a decent YouTube app last time. What the hell? Um, I'm not sure what's happened there. My, my connection has been choking up sometimes of late, but it's hard to know if if that's my connection or something weird with. Uh, no. Anyway, I suppose that'll do. It was, a, it was a brief, quick. Should we try once more? We don't have to watch the advert at least. Let's get uh, let's go full screen. Let's try skipping in. Don't know if my camera's focusing on that. So that looks that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Sounds sounds okay. Um, I'm one of those few that really really finds the external speaker uh, quite important. I do like listening to podcasts and such. Um, and I like a I like a decent speaker. Um, and this one, yeah, so it did sound a little budgety. Really budgety is that a word? Anyway, are we are we downloaded? Come on, still downloading. Okay, anyway, free first look. So the hardware, yeah, you can kind of feel that it's not top end, I would say. Um, it, it reminds me a bit more of kind of the sort of Moto G type range than perhaps, uh, well, I suppose maybe the Nexus 5, to be fair. The Nexus 5 has that kind of fairly sort of plastic, almost slightly hollow feeling, even though it does feel quite big and bulky. Um, it'll be interesting to test the lens properly. I'm going to go and do some video and some text and photos now. So have a look on my Google Plus page for some of the uh, the evidence that I produce. Um, but there we go for now. So that was just a quick first look. I will obviously get a review done in the next week or so. So if you haven't subscribed, you might want to do that. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.